If you thought 2018 was the year of the notch, worry not. At least two up and coming smartphone brands are now going head to head to give you the all screen experience without the hassle of that unsightly selfie camera cutout. Just last week, we saw the Vivo Next that featured a pop up selfie camera. And today in Paris, Oppo is throwing its own contender in the ring. Hi, I'm Michael Josh. You're watching Gadget Match, and this is our Oppo Find X first look. Before we get started on the phone, let's quickly look back at the once forgotten Find series. Oppo's flagship line has also been the Chinese company's showcase of fresh new ideas. The Oppo Finder from 2012 was the thinnest smartphone of its time. 2013's Find 5 had a 5-inch five Full HD display, uncommon at that time, and the Find 7 from 2014 had a Quad HD display, Super Voop charging, and a notifications light strip that glowed in a range of colors. And now in 2018, after a long hiatus, meet the Find X, boasting of a screen-to-body ratio that no other phone has achieved. To solve the notch dilemma, Oppo has had to find somewhere else to place the selfie camera. And their approach was an innovative pop-up mechanism. Not just a tiny camera module, but this entire upper back bit. Just launch the camera app and pop, up it goes. This entire section houses the selfie camera and face recognizing sensors up front and the phone's dual rear cameras. The phone does not have a fingerprint sensor, so you're stuck with face unlock. Just press the power button, swipe up, and the module pops up to scan your face. Now, while this may sound like that will take a while in our early tests, it actually felt quite snappy. Oppo says it takes only 0.5 seconds. Physical buttons are arranged this way, power and lock on the right, and volume buttons on the left. Both are fairly easy to use despite the phone's tall profile. In terms of ports, there's USB-C at the bottom, flanked by a speaker grill, and access to the SIM tray. With the camera module tucked away, the phone looks just like a Samsung Galaxy S9 copy with a display that's curved on both sides, but just all screen and sans any bezels. Of course, Oppo has its own marketing term for it. They're calling it panoramic arc screen. The company brags about its 93.8% screen to body ratio. That beats Vivo Next, which comes in with an already impressive 91.24%. The phone's back is also curved glass, with a glossy shimmer that changes its shade depending on how light touches it. While unoriginal, the result is a beautiful smartphone that demands your attention. One that feels elegant and premium in the hands. From the short time we spent with the Find X, we found the display to be quite vibrant with colors that pop. Apart from its stealthy pop-up mechanism, Oppo packs a whole bunch of camera tech into its 25 megapixel front camera. There's 3D Smart Selfie Capture that creates a 3D model of your face to analyze facial features so that you get the most natural beauty filters. The same technology is used in its face unlock feature and Oppo's own version of apples and emojis. It's calling it 3D Omoji. Here are some examples with a cartoon avatar which you can export as videos or GIF emojis for chatting with your friends. The phone also has two rear cameras with 16 and 20 megapixel sensors. However, we weren't allowed to take sample photos using the pre-production phones that we got our hands on. The Oppo Find X runs Android 8.1 out of the box with its own color OS skin on top. Here's a spec sheet if you're interested. Notice it's powered by a top-of-the-line Snapdragon 845 chip, meaning it's meant to pack a punch. The phone will be available in two gradient color combinations, Bordeaux Red and Glacier Blue. And that was our Oppo Find X first look. For more videos like this one, you know the drill, folks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.